I was a huge Ben Wheatley fan, if I'm honest. I'm just going to con confess that sitting three seats away from him. Um, right, it's not awkward when you're that, that, that far away. <laughs> if we were next to each other, I'd be Yeah, if we were right. next to each other, it would be awkward, but I can say it with this distance. Um, I, yes, um, the three films I'd seen uh, at that point were Kill List, Sightseers, and The Field in England. I hadn't yet seen Down Terrace, but I did see it after, after we met. And um, I'd made a film with Jeremy Thomas uh, with, uh, called Only Love is Left Alive, um, made by Jim Jarmusch. So, and I had a very good relationship with Jeremy. And um, I, he sent me the script, and, and it was very exciting that Ben was attached to it. And um, the combination of, of Ben's taste and Ballard's sensibility was intoxicating. I think, to me, it seemed incredibly um, uh, provocative, and the script was uh, the script written by Amy Jump, who always works with Ben, was 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 brilliant and insightful, and it seemed like a perfect it was a perfect experience. Um, there's something very rebellious about Ballard's writing, which is that he he has a a quality of um, I think he always felt like an outsider in British culture. He's someone who's, who was always brought up as British in Shanghai, but never actually set foot in Great Britain until he was up 14 or 15 in the 50s. And he didn't recognize the country he had read about. And, and even though he was a very, um, a very kind man, a very urbane man, very sophisticated chap, as people attest to, he, in his, his imagination was huge and... Um, and I think he's got this extraordinary um, insight into British culture, which is really what High Rise is. It's, it's, a, it's a dissection of, of a certain slice of British society. Mm -hmm.